Hey, how's it going? This is Zidin here from Recommended.com. In this quick guide, we show you how to troubleshoot and fix a driver cannot load on this device so you can get your drivers installed and dismiss that annoying message all at once. Welcome back. If you are trying to install a driver on Windows 11 or Windows 10 and you get the error message a driver cannot load on this device as it is seen on our screen here don't worry you are not alone many users have reported this issue and there are a few different ways to fix it first let's have a, an idea about what can cause this message to appear as this error can be caused by a variety of factors including outdated or corrupt drivers a conflict between two devices or more or a problem with the device itself how to fix this error message as you said, this message can be caused by a variety of things and that's frustrating for the user but luckily there are a few ways to fix it. In fact, that we have four ways to fix this issue. One way to fix the problem is to update your drivers. Outdated or corrupt drivers can often cause this issue. The second one, you can update your drivers manually by going onto your manufacturer's website and searching for the most recent driver for your device. However, if you don't have the time or patience for that, you can use a driver update tool like Driver Easy to do it automatically. Another way to fix the issue is to uninstall and then reinstall the affected device. This will often fix any corrupt files that may be causing the issue. However, if you still seeing the error message despite all these efforts, then there may be a hardware issue with the device. In that case, you will need to contact the manufacturers for help. That being said, let's head on to work. So as we said, this is the message that you will get, which says that a driver cannot load on this device. And as you can see, the name of the driver is any.sys or system, which gives you some explanation or details in here, which says the security setting is deleting this as a vulnerable driver and blocking it from loading. You will need to adjust your settings to load this driver, especially the security settings. So the first fix is to head on to star menu, right click on it and open the sub menu. And from it, you hit uh, device manager, where we'll check all of our devices or connected. Check if there are any problems to drivers installation. If you have any device which does not have a driver installed then you will have you can refresh by clicking on the loop in here if the device manager does not show any problems as it is the case of our device in here then let's move on to fix number two i don't the same to start menu next hit settings and from settings head on to windows update and check for any updates activate it in here check for updates Wait a few seconds or minutes until the update is finished and it will show you if there are any problems related to your uh, drivers or your device. Good, so here the update is finished and we have now new updates. Now we can head on to advanced option. Also hit uh, optional updates, check if there are any new updates. As you can see here there are zero updates. So if you have any just select them and install. And that would solve your problem. If that's not the case, let's head on to fix number three, which is you hit the box in here. Don't show this message again and hit the button close and you will never see this message anymore. Sometimes it is not very important for the driver or you may have left any device connected to your computer. Or your laptop right and the last fix which is to mute all this kind of messages at once which is to head on to star menu again hit uh, settings and from settings we go to privacy and security from there also we select windows security and scroll down until you find device security hit it wait a few seconds until it loads Next, we select core isolation, which is the security integration for your 
device. Here you will find it on, just turn it off and you will never see any of these messages. Also you will need to restart your computer after turning off this option. But really we do not recommend this action. But most of the time restarting your computer is also a good place to start. This message may disappear or you have problem just for one booting time. If you are still having issues you can check Microsoft support for more help. You'll find all the links below. And that's all for this quick video guys. Hope that was helpful. If so don't forget to hit that subscribe and like buttons. To get notified whenever we upload a new tutorial. For me see you in the next video. Peace.